Hey guys, welcome back to 10 Minute Maths. Right, so this week we're going to be looking at addition to 10 and we're going to be using the part whole method where we're going to combine the two parts to make the whole and we're going to see how many are all together. Right, so some of the words we're going to be using today include part, whole, add, equals and all together. Right, so to join in today, you're going to need a part whole frame, and this can be anything. You can draw it, you can get some hoops, you can use string, up to you. But you need a whole and two parts. You'll also need up to 10 counters. And then finally, for your challenge at the end, you're going to need number cards zero to five. Right, so here we go with addition to 10. So, how many balloons has Betty got? She's got the red balloons. How many are there? I'll sit speedy counting. Let's do it together. There's one, two, three, four, five. Good job. How many balloons has Barney got? Yeah, two. Let's count them. One, two. Good job. Right, who has got more balloons? Betty or Barney? Yeah, Betty, because five is more than two. So Barney's got two balloons. What word could we use? We would say Barney has fewer. Yeah, so we've got more and fewer. Good job. Right, Betty and Barney have been in the garden this week and they've found lots of things. There's flowers, there's butterflies. It's been lovely. So I want you to look at the butterflies. How many orange butterflies are there? Right, let's check. There's one, two, three. Did you get that? Good. Right, how many blue butterflies are there? Right, let's check. There's one, two, three, four, five. So there are three orange butterflies and there are five blue butterflies. How many butterflies are there all together? Can you remember what that word all together means? Yeah, it means we count the orange and the blue butterflies. So let's check. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight butterflies all together. We've also got some flowers in some pots. How many yellow flowers are there? Let's check. There's one, two, three, four. How many red flowers are there? Yeah, there's two. Let's try again. There's one, two. Right, we're going to use that word all together again. So how many flowers are there all together? So look at the yellow and look at the red. Right, let's check. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six flowers all together. Good job. Right, we're going to use this again. Can you remember what this is called? Yeah, it's a part whole frame because we've got the two parts at the bottom and we've got the whole at the top. And remember, it's not like a hole in the ground. It's where the objects are all together. All right. So, I'm going to put our flower pots there and we've got an empty one at the top for the hole. And what we're going to do, we're going to put the yellow flowers into the hole and we're going to put the red flowers into the hole, just like we did when we were counting them. So let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four. 
And then let's put the red ones in as well. So we've got one, two. What do we need to do now to find out how many are all together? Yeah, we need to count them. So let's count them together. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. So now we're thinking about addition already. Well done. Right, let's swap them for some counters because we can see these a little bit better. So we've got our four counters and we've got our two counters. So what do we need to do to find out how many are all together? Yeah, we need to put them into our hole. So here we go. Let's put the four in and we'll put our two in. Now what do we need to do? Yeah, count all together. So can you do it with me? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. Does it matter if our part whole frame is on the side like this? Do you think that matters? No, it doesn't, because we've still got our two parts and then we've got our whole, and we can see the lines that attach the parts to the whole. So it doesn't matter which way up it is, as long as we can see where our hole is and we can see where our two parts are. So this time, how many do we have in our top part? One, two, three, four, five. Did you say five? Good. How many do we have in our bottom part? Let's check. One, two, three. Did you recognise those patterns, five and three? Good job if you did. Right, what do we need to do now to find out how many are all together? Yeah, let's put them into the hole. Here we go. Right, what do we do now? Yeah, we count them. All right, let's count them. Are you ready? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we had five and we had three. And when we put them all together, it equals eight. Good job. Right, here's your challenge for this week. So, are you ready? Pick a random number from zero to five. Then count the correct amount into one part. So you just do it in one of your parts on your frame. Then pick another number and put that amount in the second part. And then how many are there all together? But this is your challenge now. Can you write it as a number sentence? Right, I'm gonna explain what you have to do now. So you ready? I've got my number cards again. So I'm gonna pick a number. What are we getting? What number's that? Two. So I'm gonna put two counters in my first part. Let's choose another card, are you ready? What number's that? Yeah, five. So let's put five in the second part. So we've got two and we've got five and we're going to add them together. So it's gonna be two add five. All right, what do we need to do to find how many are all together? Yeah, put them all into the hole, are you ready? Now, what do we need to do to find our answer? Yeah, we count them, here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it equals seven. So our number sentence would be two add five equals seven. Have a go at that one. Right, when you finish that, here's your greater depth challenge. So, soon we're going to be looking at number bonds to 10. So this week, can you find all the ways to make six, seven, eight, and nine? That's a big, big challenge. Have a good go at that one. Right, well done today, guys. Really good effort. And that's great because we're now going to start thinking about number bonds to 10. Mm. Right, that's all we've got time for, guys. But make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.